welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Hey, today I'm bringing you the Hogue Ritter RSK MK1 G2 and the Mini. They're designed by Doug Ritter. They're made specifically for him by Hogue, made in the USA. Let me give you the let me give you the specs on the regular knife. The blade's three and a half inches, 20 CV, a four and three quarter inch handle ample handle uh, G10. Awesome, awesome handle. The Mini has a 3 inch blade, it's 20 CV, G10 with a 4 inch handle. So both are pretty substantial blades. One is a bit longer and the regular size knife is a bit thicker. I will try to put or list in the description the thickness of the blades. I do apologize, apologize about that. Now, Doug Ritter is big into knife rights and in a little bit we're going to talk about that but Hogue specifically designs these knives for him they're solid everyday work knives now listen guys i set up my videos so that you can turn off the noise turn off the volume just watch the knife work and understand what it's doing however in this video i want you to pay attention because we do want to cover a couple things that are pretty important on knife rights before we get into the video, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. We back the blue over here. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law the best we can. And if you are an addict, never quit quitting. A couple more things I want to cover for you. The thumb studs are ambidextrous. They both have able locks, very, very good, very solid locks. Both have very nice jimping on the back. Both have lanyard holes. They're, they're basically carbon copies. One's, one's just a bit longer and a little bit thicker, and the other one's a little smaller, a little thinner. However, the, the smaller blade, I'm going to tell you right now, both came super sharp, razor sharp. These two both were sent to me by Rusty Knife Lover, I love them both. I love that able lock. This is kind of my first time with that able lock. I like it a whole lot. The, the bigger blade is billed as a survival pocket knife. So we're going to do a lot of things with it uh, to, to kind of put that to the test. We're going to shave wood. We're going to do all the things you normally see us do. We're going to do a lot of pocket knife stuff. I can tell you this. Both are very comfortable in hand. Both performed very well. Both are very, very, very slicey. I love the 20 CV. I'm, I'm becoming a bigger and bigger and bigger fan of Hogue as I go. Now, I'll say this about the pocket clip. It can be set either right or left-hand side, tip-up configuration. That's a nice little touch. The ambidextrous thumb studs, nice touch. Really, really comfortable, really good slicer. That little one will slice you completely in half. Here is our zip tie test. Now, I've been asked, Scab, why do you do this? Well, I've had really, really, really good feedback. And I had a couple guys tell me, hey man, you don't know how many knife edges we've chipped by cutting zip ties. So I said, well, we're gonna put it in, we're gonna put the test in, and I like it a lot. So we're gonna, that was the mini. Here comes the full size, again, the zip test. Now, I do a lot of the same tests. We just do pocket knife stuff. And, I, and it's not really tests. We've discussed that before. A lot of it is more of a demonstration uh, just to kind of show you how the thing works. Both performed very, very well. Now, we do some light batoning with the bigger one. I did not with the little one. There's just certain things you want to use common sense on. I would say this. If you were going to carry them in the woods, I'd carry both. Here's why. The bigger one performed all kind. We're going to do a little push cut here on the rubber, on the water hose. The big one held up very, very well to a little bit of batoning. You can do a lot with that big one. I'd keep the small one for like food prep, game prep, something like that. It's just both are super, super slicey. They really are. But that thin one, man, I, I love it. And I love the G10. I love the feel of both. I will say this, the lock I had no problem with. Very easy to work, very easy to manipulate. 
No hot spots on either knife. Both were very, very comfortable in hand, easy to work with. You didn't really feel like, I didn't feel like I had to really bear down to make the knife work at any point. It just seemed to go and felt really, really good. Now, the other night, Friday night when I met D-Bad, these are two that we looked at in his video. I let him hold them. D-Bad's got extra large hands. I like you know, it's a good barometer to see him in different size hands. I have large hands. D-Bad probably has XL hands. He's a big dude. And while we're talking about D-Bad, we're going to do the drop test and throw test. Listen, guys, Donnie is steamrolling towards 10,000. If you are not subscribed to Donnie B all day, please do so. I always try to include uh, a link in the description to his channel. Go over there. We want to get him to 10,000. Now, if you guys would do me a favor and just bear with me, this is a little bit longer video. I did that by choice because I want to talk about December 3rd, Knives Live. That is an event that's going to go from December 3rd, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. It's going to start with Jared at Neves Knives. Neves Knives is where the event is starting, and it is going to run till December 4th, 6 p.m. Friday to 6 p.m. Saturday. They're going to have all kind of giveaways. Now, there's like 14 or 15 different channels, maybe 16. I'm not real sure. I don't know them all, but I know this. Neves Knives, Big Red EDC, Lefty EDC, Knives Fast, Zach Stuff, Hollywood Tactical, and a whole bunch more. But those guys right there, Neves Knives, Big Red EDC, Lefty EDC, Knives Fast, Zach Stuff, my guy over at Hollywood Tacticals and Bob. But listen, guys, go to one of those guys' channels or their Instagram pages. They have a listing of when everybody's going to go on. There's going to be all kind of giveaways throughout the thing. I plan on trying to get to as many channels during that time as I can. They're trying to raise money for knife rights. That plays in really well here. Listen, these knives, the Hogue Ritter RSK MK1 Gem G2 Generation 2 and the Mini are exclusively sold at KnifeWorks Inc. KnifeWorks Inc. Now listen to me. The big one's a buck fifty-nine. I'm telling you right now, 20 CB G10, it's worth every dime. I taught, or Doug Ritter left a message on a post of mine on Instagram, which I am forever grateful that he did. Doug Ritter designs these. Hogue makes these. He uses the proceeds from these knife sales to fund knife rights. And he is trying to build a sharper future for all Americans. He goes in there and he, and he fights for our rights. And let me explain something to you guys. If you carry a pocket knife, if you buy a pocket knife for a friend, you are in this community. I can't, I can't tell you what to do, and I'm not asking you what to do other than during this Knives Live, find one of these guys, go to their channel, support. I plan on donating. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet, if I'm going to do it on just one channel or try to donate on each one. I don't know, but they are trying to raise money for our knife rights. And that, again, that starts at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. December 3rd and runs to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, December 4th. Now, guys, right there, right there, when I was holding that knife, that able lock, I, I pressed on, I did something. That's why you see the knife bend there. That's why I'm showing you. I hit it on the back, put some good wax. I'm going back to batoning. At no point did it harm the knife, did the knife fail, nothing like that. That was my fault in the way I was holding it. The knife held up very good, but I wanted to call attention to that. And if you run it back a few seconds, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is my first time with this style lock. And I love the lock. I just, you know, when we start talking about being a novice and all that at best, that's part of learning. And that's why I say, hey, man, I'm a novice. See, I moved my hand back there because, again, I was riding a little too high. I squeezed things really hard there. No problems whatsoever. No problem, open, close, locked up well, and very, very sturdy in hand. But I wanted to make sure that I called attention to that. Now, as we go, I'm going to mention one more time before we leave the different channels involved. Go to their Instagram pages, okay? Most of them have a schedule of when, who's going on when. 
please get in there. This is an issue that involved all of us. And I'm going to say this to you while we're watching the knife work. We try, I tried to cut everything I could in a pocket knife manner. We cut bottles, we cut cardboard, we cut all kind of stuff. Very stabby. I love this blade shape. I absolutely love it. Very, very useful in a utilitarian manner. And the thing held up well. Again, no hot spots. I love that jimping on the back there. You can see the grip I'm using. I love the jimping on the back. This is probably one I'm going to get. I'm just going to be honest with you. Right here, sliced right through. I like using plastic bottles. I really do. You can see how easy it sticks it. You can see how easy it glides through it. I think it's an important test. And, you know, I'm not going to show you this one time. I'll show you a hundred. If, if old scab's going to do anything, son, I'm going to show you a thousand times. Now, again, knife rights. I can't say it enough, guys. Just If nothing else, go to the Knife Rights Facebook page and sign up for their newsletter. I think it's that important. Now, we're going to use the mini right here. And again, very, very comfortable in hand. Both knives, and I want to say this, I want to stress this. One of the things that y'all see me do, and I try to do a lot, is I'll show you the knife. You'll see me open and close the knife several times throughout a video. That is by design. I want to show you. Now, right here, right here, two quick little nicks. Now, watch here. This thing's sharp, son. I'm not kidding you. It put a nice little thing in it. This thing would go to work on you. It'd be a good one to keep open in your hand if you needed it. You know what I'm saying? A Bigfoot attack you or something like that. I love, now I love them both. And y'all know, y'all know that I'm just a knife guy. I really am. I love knives. I love all size knives. I don't know that there's too many. I don't like, and people have said, Scab, what kind of, you, you, you like everything. No, just the ones you see on my channel. I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's the beauty of having a channel. You can kind of pick and choose what you review unless somebody sends you something. And I'm glad, listen, y'all want to send me something to review? Glad to do it. Glad to do it. And I'll be honest with you, give you the best review I can. But I want to say up front, I want to keep saying it. I am a novice and we are getting better. And all I can do, guys, one of the things that, that really stuck out with me about Donnie, one, yeah, it was just, it was like seeing a dude I'd known my whole life, but like watching Donnie hold the same knife and it really struck me. A lot of you guys go by these reviews and I'm glad you do because we do the best we can. But guys, take in as many different reviews as you can. Not everybody's hands are the same. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Some have, may never had a problem in their hands. Some are like me and have old busted up hands. Take in a lot of these reviews. You don't have to, to believe everything everybody says because knives are, so, and, and let me clarify that statement right there. Knives are absolutely 100% subjective. I can't tell you what to like and wouldn't for all this world. All I can do is tell you what I like and try to demonstrate the knife. So what I'm telling you is this, guys. Knives are subjective. Some people are going to love one. A thousand people could love one and a million could hate it. That's just the way it goes. So choose some reviewers that you like that are credible. Pick all kinds. There's all kinds of knife reviewers on YouTube. All kinds. And the one thing, guys, that we all have in common, we all carry knives. We all use knives. A lot of us have used knives since we were little boys and throw a paracord across the kitchen like I did there. But that's the thing, guys. So again... Both knives are slicing dreams, absolute dreams. I love them both. At some point, honest to God, I'm probably going to pick up one, if not both, because I think they're rugged. I think they're durable. And I'm going to tell you all something. I'm going to tell you right now. I know I've been practicing doing this, but these knives are forgiving. What does that mean? That means, and somebody like my hand suit again, when, now, guys, again, when it comes to, like, work knives, powder coating, construction, underground utilities, I've carried a knife my whole life, and I know exactly what to do with it in that. But when it comes to, like, woods crap, bush crap, processing meat, processing game, knowing the proper terms, I'm a novice. But this knife right here is very, very forgiving, very comfortable in hand. we got about a minute, minute and a half left. Again, Doug Ritter designed this. 
Look him up on Facebook. Look up Knife Rights on Facebook. Next Friday night, Neves Knives, 6 p.m. is going to kick it off. These are the guys. Now, again, guys, go to one of these guys' channel because they've got a list of everybody who's involved. And to anybody who's involved, if you watch this video, please put it in the comments. I'm sorry uh, to have left you out, but put it in the comments. Let us know, hey, this is what time I'm going on. We'd love to know. Neves Knives, Big Red EDC, Lefty, that's Kevin. Knives Fast, Casey, Zach Stuff, Zach, Hollywood Tactical, Hollywood. Those guys are going to be part of Knives Live. December 3rd to December 4th, 6 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's get over there and let's fight for our rights. Mr. Ritter, outstanding job, my friend. Love both of these. Well, Mikey says it best, everything's going to be all right. I'm scabbed. You're not. I'm gone, son. Love y'all. Sometimes. <laughs>